have another journal for you today. This one is, I love this journal. Uh, this is a first for me. So this is a soft cover quilted kind of trifold wrap cover journal. It is tied together here with a couple different pieces of fabric. There are vintage fabrics on this. There are more modern fabrics. There are some vintage laces, vintage kind of cro crochet laces and tatting here and just kind of some free form quilting all over this. This journal measures approximately seven inches by nine and a half inches and about a two inch spine. This unwraps here and we have this beautiful little applique here. These three little lace pieces are hand sewn onto the spine here. So this opens like this and like this. Here we have a little dove pin that I have added and you can remove that if you so wish. We have some beautiful paisley fabric here and a little lace pocket. We have a vintage photo and a vintage page from a poetry book tucked in here. This has one, two, three, four, five signatures in it. Lots of sewing, lots of lace trims and edges, lots of vintage pages, ephemera, and such in this. This is from a vintage sewing pattern. These were the instructions for that pattern. On the back here, I've just kind of created a little tuck spot and tucked in a little paper doily in there. This is from some vintage ledger. This is from a Career and Ives book. I love the images from this book. Some coffee dyed and tea dyed pages, vintage maps, vintage music pages. Created a pocket here with a little vintage stamp and tucked in some more vintage music sheets in there. hand stamping, tabs, adorable little children's book pages. Some line stamping here and some hand stamping with the word date there. This I have clipped up here with this little bulldog clip. This was a photocopy of some handwritten recipes. You can see this paper clip is old and rusted. I don't know what this is for. This has the full recipe on it. Beautiful handwriting. Some hand stamping on this envelope and I have just tucked in here a little vintage greeting card. And there is writing on the inside of that greeting card. On the other side of the greeting card, I tucked in a vintage postcard that is not written on. Base tags. This is a embellished paperclip. It's just some vintage stamps. And this is the other side of that career in Ives picture. And I've just tucked in there a journaling card that I've made. Outside of that ledger. 
little pocket here with some vintage music paper and a stamp and I have tucked in a little tag that I have made and a vintage playing card. This is from a vintage chess book. Some lace on the edge there, stamping, fabric, some doily lace punching on the edges there. This was a photocopy of, I believe, an old newspaper or something. I got this at a an estate sale. This is from an old catalog, vintage catalog. Here I've made a pocket and tucked in a vintage photo and a vintage letter. 1943. This is a photocopy of a honorable discharge from the United States Army. And it has an official stamp here. Some ledger paper. Here's an old report card from 59 to 60. And this little tuck spot holds an old, uh, this is either a tea card or a cigarette card. Some hand stamping on this piece of paper. This is from a vintage book called The Englishman's Garden. It's a beautiful color print from that book. Here I've put a little envelope on here with this paper clip and inside I have tucked a vintage playing card and an adorable little vintage stamp. And this envelope I have made out of vintage book page. Here's the other side of that copy of the Honorable Discharge. And you can, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is an actual official seal on here. You can feel it is embossed on there. Some little secret writing space there in that tissue paper. Contract score pad. On the other side of that catalog page, I have made a little tuck spot with this um, old, I believe this was from like some like pantaloons or something. And I made a pocket out of it and I've tucked a vintage photo and an old tag in there. Here we have a paper clip with some lace on it, a vintage envelope. And then here I have tucked another vintage photo. Some Spanish uh, study pages from a Spanish book. This is from a National Historic Site in Texas. This was a pamphlet that you would have gotten when you went there. I do not know what year this was from, but I know it is vintage. Vintage lace clip up there. Um, a coffee dyed envelope. And this these markings were actually from a coloring book page that I had on top of the envelope and it kind of transferred on there. Inside I have tucked another photo and a little card there. On the back side I've just tucked a little tag that I've made. I have some vintage biology book pages. This is a vintage receipt, Firestone Tires. I have tucked in here some vintage tickets and a postcard. Some fabric on that paper clip. Here I've made a belly band with some lace on a vintage dictionary page and I've tucked in a page from that catalog. Some 
vintage recipe pages from Women's Day. It's a vintage gardening book. I created a little pocket on here from some, uh, these were end papers from a vintage book. And I put in a, what is this one? This is Fall River Lodge card from 1929. Paid receipt for Mr. Elmer Young. And this is just a cutout from an old National Geographic magazine. A pocket here with some paper that I use to clean off my stamps with. I always love how these come out and I put a handmade tag in there. Copy dyed vellum. Vintage children's music book pages. This is a vintage children's book page and I may need to reinforce this a little bit. So this was very fragile putting in here and I have already taped it a little bit, but the stitching seems to be kind of breaking through the paper and I may need to figure out how to do this. I just love this image. It is absolutely beautiful, but this paper is so fragile. So there may be some reinforcements to this page prior to it going up on Etsy. So I just want you guys to know that this may be slightly different um, when you get it. Fabric tabs there. Here I have an embellished paper clip. And we just put in some little to-do notes and then a calendar from week of January 15th, 1967. And that is clipped on the gardening page there. Let's see if I can actually get this back on here. The other side of that recipe page. You can try out those recipes all you want. This is from a silk hanky and the texture of this was absolutely amazing. A lot of this was falling apart. I did manage to salvage some of it. And I have just tucked in here the remainder of the hanky that I had used for this back pocket, which I will show you shortly. And I have just folded that up and tucked that back into this spot so you can use that for collaging or whatever you would like throughout this book. The other side of that receipt from 1941 from Firestone Tire. We have a book page from uh, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin with some beautiful vintage lace on the side here. Adorable little image. This is the other side of that Texas Historic Site pamphlet and this just folds out like this. This is a page from the Sears Roebuck catalog. Vintage maps and dictionary pages. I've created a little pocket here and I have just tucked in a little cutout from a vintage book, children's book. And this is part of a uh, pamphlet from, let's see what we got, from a doll exposition. And it was ripped in half and used as bookmarks in a book that I got in an estate sale. So I've tucked in a piece of that there. Some hand stamping here. On here, I have attached to the bulldog clip. I have a little vintage picture. This is adorable. This little boy with his little cowboy hat. I love this. So I attached with it a piece of um, this, book, this book page from a vintage book with these kind of pioneer men with their wagon here. Ooh. Some vintage receipt paper. This is another page from Squirrel Nutkin. There's a couple pockets that I've made. I've made a little tag here, and this is another page from that, another piece of that flyer. These beautiful women with their lovely furs. Stamp 
shipping and page for the book. It's a nice lace. It's another vintage book page. Beautiful photo. Some stamping. Vintage lace. adorable photo for uh, print from this for a Latin book. Here's that vintage receipt from 1926. You can see where the old paper clip was. I absolutely love that. This came from an old career in the Ives book. I just cut out this photo because I absolutely loved it. I thought it was beautiful. And I've just made that into a nice journaling card and tucked that in here with a paper clip with some vintage lace on it. A little collage there. There's a really old vintage book page. And in here I have tucked some old recipes. We've got some roast duck. I just absolutely love these. Just a little paper clip with some like, fabric on it. It's another photocopy of an old um, recipe. Let's see, we've got crystallized brown sugar. I'm not sure what they were using that for, but there's that. And then I cut this out of an old uh, newspaper, Sunday's dinner menu. We've got some raspberry cream pie there. Little pocket I've made out of some of the fabrics that I used on the cover. And I have tucked in here uh, some Queen Elizabeth stamps and a canceled uh, Kingston Dalton State Bank check. Children's book page here. Next stamp book. Just some vintage wrap paper that came from Iowa, Illinois Gas and Electric Company. And I have attached a book page here from a children's bird book. And you can look that up. Plenty of extra journaling space there. This is from the Vintage Encyclopedia. Here's some old pattern paper from the same pattern from the instructions from the beginning. This one is absolutely beautiful and this is I don't know how old, I don't remember how old this is. I believe this is from the eight, late 1800s, early 1900s, but you can actually feel the texture of the ink on this page. And it's absolutely amazing. And I wasn't sure I wanted to part with this page, but I can't keep everything. Here's a little pocket here and we have a little vintage ticket and a little, uh, this was from a, would have been from a cigar, a little cigar label there. And this is furniture polish label there. Put that in. And on the other side of that, we have, this was from some music paper. I've tucked in here some clip outs from Richard's books vintage photo and just some pieces from some vintage papers for you to collage with some vintage music paper this was uh, from some vintage uh, recipe pages that I found just some paper and some wrapping paper cluster here. Lace. Quite a little pocket here. This was from a crochet 
book. So this is a book that you would have created your own crochet patterns with. So that's what that came out of. And this is from 85. So this is not super old, but this is, this came from my state hall. This is from the Florida State Fair Authority. So this was the I believe it was like an invitation for her for the state fair and she made dolls and handbags and stuff like that. Here's the other side of that caramelized brown sugar recipe on the other side of the book page there. So this is the back of the wrap cover and I've created a pocket here with this beautiful hanky. This also came from a career in Ives and I've just made this into a nice journaling tag here. And then here I have included some little pieces of fabrics that I have used throughout this journal. So you can put these throughout here or use them for whatever you would like and they're just clipped together with this little little clothespin, little itty bitty baby clothespin. And this is just an end page from an old book. And I just love the coloring on this. It's just absolutely beautiful caramelized coloring and you can use this for extra journaling space. So that is it. That is the quilted wrap cover journal. And that just folds back over like this, like that, and like this. Just wrap these around and tie it in the front. I hope you love this journal as much as I do. Um, everything that I make has been, lately anyways, has been uh, difficult to decide to part with. Uh, this is the first one of this kind that I have made, so this is definitely difficult to part with. I definitely will not, this will definitely not be the last one of this kind that I make, so you will see more of this one in the future. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much everyone to my new subscribers and 